Our next speaker is Jonatas. He's from TimeScale DB, and he's going to talk about our most favorite tool, at least my most most favorite tool, PSQL. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Happy to be here. I I traveled from Brazil to to be here, so I'm very happy. And that's second time in in United States. So. Um, that's my presentation. I'm just using Vim because I couldn't manage to work with like visual tooling for everything. And uh, I also prefer to have like an entire full setup in the terminal. So that's, that's my, uh, my default way of working. So uh, today I'm going to talk about PSQL. My name is Jonatas, and I am a back-end developer in general. I work a lot with Ruby in my past, and uh, I work with PostGRE since 2004, and uh, with Ruby since 2007. And um, you can find me on Twitter as JonatasDP or Jonatas on GitHub. And uh, I am just curious to know about you all, like, um, uh, who here worked only in terminal, like before the, the graphical interface was available. And uh, well, that's very cool. We have a few folks here that had this opportunity. And uh, uh, who here already worked wi without mouse? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, black and white display, or green. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So very cool, very nice to, to see that people are also uh, came from, from the same roots. And uh, well, today I'm going to talk about Terminal in general, and then uh, I will have like a little intro to Bash and how to, and, and this like, let's say Linux philosophy and everything on this. And then we are going to PSQL, Redline, that's the tool that is, is everywhere in the Terminal, and uh, a few other CLI tools that I use here. So um, the, the terminal is the sixth language uh, that is more used in the world, the bash script language, let's say bash and, and the other, the family of bash language, sh and uh, zsh, and then for example, my favorite is fish. I prefer fish, it's, it's more like a friendly, but when I'm going to deliver some like full, like production script, I will just jump to Bash, and uh, and and the thing is that this is the leg of bricks for for developers. Like you can just start building things and automating, and and that's what makes me very very excited about it. And this is very extensible, so you can easily just like create your custom stuff or download it from other people, and and and. And you, you are also independent of the graphical user interface. So that's the main thing that like, it doesn't matter which interface you are running. In the past, it was much harder, but now it seems like uh, not really a, a big deal, right? And so uh, the, Bash, uh, the Bash is an interactive development you can use. For example, the terminal is a Bash interactive environment. And um, I guess I need to, yes, now you can see. Uh, so this is a repo, we call it repo, so read, evolve, print, line, right? So when, when, when we are interacting here, we are going to use it a lot, and, uh, and that's, uh, that's, my, uh, that's my favorite type of tooling. Like I'm just experimenting with code, and then I can see how uh, how, how it deliver back the result to me, and it's, it's very good for, for learning and for prototyping, right? So instead of like compiling and have like a, a long workflow which you can, you can go. And uh, well, we can, we can have here a, 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 small, a small bash session. Uh, I'm going to just jump here and I can say uh, echo hello, scale, and um, and then uh, we can we can see that like the first argument and the second argument are 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 like just words. For example, if I say echo echo, it will not like repeat the command, but it will use the the command as an argument, right? 
And, uh, and, and then, like in the terminal, you have a, a bunch of like, uh, tooling that can interact and, and give you uh, uh, information from your system, your host system, and everything. So, for example, uh, let me just. Uh, so, here, for example, who am I? So, who am I is just uh, putting my username and. Uh, and also, uh, just a few details if you are not familiar with this. For example, some terminals, they have this uh, cursor blinking, other not, other are using underscore. So depending on your configuration, you see a different type of cursor. And that's, that's also something that can, uh, will depend on, on, on where you are. So it's very important to pay attention on the cursor. Like sometimes you, you just mess with the cursor. For example, uh, I, I just put like a single, um, uh, a, a single uh, comma, or sorry, uh, I'm just wrapping a string here. So for example, now you see my cursor is different. And then, and then you see that it changes. And, uh, and depending on, on, on what you are doing, maybe you start something and then you you break your terminal because you don't know what you are doing because this is just a black screen with like an input and if you don't pay attention. And the favorite part for me is have like a single focus screen. Like I, I try to always work with a single tab. I don't use too many uh, windows or things like that. And, and this makes much easier to, to, to interact with the terminal. So, for example, here, uh, one, of my, uh, uh, one of my favorite things here is, is man. So, for example, if I say man, if it's SQL here, I can just learn everything, and this will just call the manual. And, um, and, and, and then now you, you already see that when we call man, we are already in another application. And this application is named the pager. So the pager is this like preview on the terminal, like a, a browser to, to just navigate in some content. And as you see in the bottom, we have like a, a column that is just saying like, well, we are waiting you to, to type something and, and that will let you advance or, or do something. So for example, if you say space here, you are going to move forward one page. You can also use B to be backward one page. And, and, and the good part is like your hands, they don't take out of the keyboard. So you, you don't need to, to go to the arrows and, and keep navigating. Generally, you can just keep your hands in the keyboard. as like uh, the same of like the editor's philosophy. So the idea is that you can, you can type more. And the idea of this talk is not type more and type less. <laughs> the objective here is just show like shortcuts and things that will help you to get there. And, uh, and then uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, different commands that can help you to, to interact with this uh, screen. So this is a simple uh, input output screen which, uh, which we can use. I will just close this one. I, I had two, three tabs before, now I have two. Much easier to follow, much, uh, much uh, more easy to not uh, yeah, uh, unfocus from, from the objective here. And uh, for example, I, I typed here to, to, to get rid of this pager. I can type Q and then I will quit from, from this. I can use J and K to, to also navigate back and forth. I can use back uh, slash here to search for something. Let's say I'm looking for a specific configuration, let's say host, for example. And, and this is very peculiar, but if you see here, like the host is italic. <laughs> it's very hard to, to observe it, but this is like matching and highlighting the host that I am searching. I can also use N to go to the next, uh, to the next occurrence and, and, and P uh, to come to the, the, the previous one. So this is, uh, this is very good and it will help you. Uh, even like this is very hard to see that this is highlighted. You can also change the pager configuration to, to change the colors and do things like that. Uh, I, 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 I end up like mixing the, the terminal like 
from in my case I'm using iter so sometimes I use like host here just to highlight and check where it is so it's much much easier to, to follow and uh, well this is a uh, uh, the pager is very good we are going to talk more about it graph is also one of like the Swiss knife tools that you can use everywhere for for filtering and and and, and going forward so I will be uh, I'll be looking more and um, it seems like I, I don't need to go too further on this like everybody here has some kind of experience with the terminal and bash so I will just keep uh, this uh, a very superficial explanation and uh, and 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 then uh, we also have a um, different ways to express uh, arguments in the command line. Generally, uh, people uh, implement these two ways to, to create params. So, for example, uh, psql here, I could say the b name uh, playground, for example. And then that's, that's one way to go, but I, I also have like a minus d that is also uh, like the same thing. So uh, generally, they have like an alias uh, argument just to, to, to provide you some very good interface that you can uh, type fast. So like depending on what you are doing, for example, if I am creating a script that I will just push it to production or to my friends, I will not use the minus D, I will use the minus minus DB name. So it's much easier to read and and make it like friendly for other folks. And uh, yeah, but this is, th that's the idea, right? Um, uh, here it's, uh, it's exactly this. And, uh, and for example, um, uh, like uh, in the terminal, you can also have like here echo. Uh, so if I try echo here, uh, hello, and then I would like to break line uh, and and then I have a, a problem here because it, it will not break the line as I expect. So I need to say minus E and then it will just recognize this, uh, this uh, uh, special characters. So depending on, 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 the, on the command that you are using, it also assumes that some previous configuration is already applied. So you can discover it looking and reading the manual. <laughs> this is very hard sometimes, like you just discover the behavior uh, when you are debugging, but yeah, that's, that's part of the world. And, uh, and we also have uh, some comments that they, they have this kind of, uh, uh, for example, if I say here ls, I will get this, and then I say minus l, it will just uh, use like model list, and then I say a, and then I say H, for example, for humanized results. So instead of showing uh, size uh, in bytes, it will show in megabytes or gigabytes, and it's quite useful. And, and, and this is LS minus LA is same as L, A, H. So it, it can let you to some ambiguous situation, but it's also available and sometimes like uh, uh, this is kind of part of the Linux philosophy, so you will find it everywhere, like combining and just joining arguments, and it's useful, but it's also dangerous, so uh, be careful uh, with this kind of thing. Uh, oops. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, one thing. Another thing is several times you, you are building things in the terminal, and then you, you have this issue, for example, uh, let's say I am here and I say, who am I? And then if I say echo, who am I? I will not get there, right? So I need to, to introduce another shell and, uh, and to, to just add uh, another shell, I can use this. So that's the same as say something, but this is useful to combine params and arguments and things like that. So uh, this is, this is also uh, quite interesting to to be applying, and um, and then and then we we can we can see also variables. So, for example, I can say here, for example, a equal one, and then I can say hello, 
account a, for example. And then it will show the value of the variable. And uh, if I try here a plus one, it will, it will just print the, the calculus. It will not do anything in, in, in the calculus. But I, 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 can, I can get there, for example, if I use expression. And then expression is another command line tool. And then it will just compile what you want. To be honest, I don't use uh, math calculus too much in the terminal, but it's there. Like if you need something like this, it's there, it's available, and it's any arithmetic expression will, will be uh, easy to do if, if you need it, right? And, um, and, then, uh, and then like another thing that's interesting here is uh, think about like uh, multiple lines in the same line. Sometimes like I, I just want to do like A equal two, B equal five, and then I would like to just see uh, the expression uh, of like A plus B. And then uh, I can just do uh, it uh, using a semicolon. So, uh, oops, I, 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 it says seven is not a command because I'm just, I'm just adding the output inside the terminal. So like seven is nothing, <laughs> right? So it will, if I try to type here, uh, result is seven, right? And, uh, but this is, uh, this is a result. So, for example, if I say here uh, echo, for example, x, I can say echo ls, and then it will execute the, uh, it, will, it will send the list command from the embedded uh, subshell to the previous and parent shell. So, that's, that's quite interesting and important. And, um, and, and quite useful. So the next part that's very, very cool is, is this kind of operators. Uh, uh, the operators, um, they are, um, if, if you don't know what operadores mean operators, uh, I just missed translating it. It was in Portuguese, so just one single shot of Portuguese for you. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and the, and, the, and the operators here, they, they can be helping you to forward commands and, 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 and not be only in the output. So um, if, if, we, if we come here, for example, and just say like uh, um, echo hello, uh, and then we'll, we'll have the hello, and then let's say uh, we, we want to, to do something with this text, so we can just point this text into a file. So let's say I will create here scale20x.txt. So that's a text file, and there is a hello content inside. And then, like, for example, if, if, I, if I try to just look this content, uh, I can use cat, that's another terminal, the command that will just print the output here. And, uh, and then, and then, for example, um, if I try this again, like a hello world, and then uh, it, it will end up creating a new file. So anytime you use w the greater than operator, it will just replace the, the file. And uh, if, if you want to do something like, a, like a combining lines and appending, you need to use two uh, two arrows, and in this case, for example, you can see here uh, the two lines here, right? And uh, and uh, you can combine things um, uh, here. So, for example, uh, cat is uh, is a, a is the is the original command, and then let's say I would like to to filter this, so I can use pipe to receive the previous result into my, my commands, and then I can use grab here, and then I can say, for example, two. So I will grab by two. That's just a, uh, that will let me to have just one line. Uh, I, I, I like to use the minus minus color option uh, because I can see the matches, and then it will, uh, it will help me if I'm building something 
for example, more complex. Let's say, if, uh, let's say here I am. I would like to match our uh, A O A E O I U, and uh, and then you see uh, what's matching, what's not. And regular expressions is uh, very very useful for any anything that you are doing with strings and input output. So it's 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 quite good to to know it. And uh, and then and then like you you can do a lot of nice things with this and uh, and uh, it's also it's also good to know uh, to uh, to understand that uh, these uh, these pipelines they they can they can be watching the file system. So for example, let's say here I will do a tail and tail will just uh, uh, keep watching the file. So tail minus f, if I just say tail, scale, it will get the last five lines. In this case, the file has only two lines. But if I say, for example, uh, tail here minus f, it will keep watching the file, right? And then, uh, like, I will just break the terminal here, and then uh, let me go to bash to be in the same thing. And then I can just say here, uh, Jonathan uh, is talking. Uh, and then uh, I can just put it in the same file, right? And then, and then now I have it piped into the other side, and and that allows you to combine these blocks and and keep you watching things and filtering, for example. And and the cool part is that this this combination it also works uh, with the grep. So, for example, I can say here grep the same thing AO, and then uh, we see here so. And then if I come here and say uh, uh, test, and then you can see here uh, the the lines that is is doing so uh, the lines that are matching. Let's go and create a line that does not match, and it will continue there. And then if you add new lines that matches, it will keep uh, watching and piping it too. So this is the uh, this is very very interesting too when you are building command line applications you can keep combining so uh, the, this is uh, this is how Linux uh, very basic uh, input output uh, tooling that you can be using so this is this is thing, thing these are things that are also available in 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 some sense through the psql so we are going to, to jump there soon and yeah this is the example and uh, well uh, we also have some uh, some uh, some shortcuts for file systems so for example if i say uh, cd dot i am a red here so my talk is on talks psql here so when i list the content here i let me just uh, close this previous terminal, and uh, and then I can continue from here. So, uh, for example, uh, here I have my my slides file. So if I say head slides dot markdown, I will see the the beginning of my slides. So, for example, uh, like things that I generally do in the terminal, like I'm doing these slides here, and then I need to to see. Uh, what are my my header the headers of my slides? So I will filter for everything that starts with uh, uh, this. So these are all like the topics, the main topics that we are we are trying now. We are here in the file system one, and uh, and then for example, I love this WC. So WC is word count minus L is for count lines. So for example. I have six slides in my presentation, and 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 I really use it because I prefer to to continue the command line than just go for some tooling and and check it, and 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 that's that's quite useful. And that's also uh, that's also our let's say uh, Linux input output, and uh, and you can use for example. Uh, you can use some shortcuts for directories here. For example, uh, dot dot is the parent folder. So when we say ls minus l here, uh, in the beginning, uh, uh, you see here 
that we have dot dot and dot. So dot means like the actual directory and, and dot dot is the, is the previous one. And uh, in Linux, generally when you start a folder with dot, it means that it's like a private folder or something that's not visible generally. And uh, yeah. And uh, here are a few, uh, a few uh, of like my file system, like most used commands. So uh, more and less are like synonyms of pager. So more and less are, are the same commands. So for example, cat slides dot markdown pipe more. It will just uh, open pager and then I can keep like going and, uh, and navigating. For example, I'm looking for file system and then I will get in the file system slide and that, that will help me to just jump back and forth as, as I need and queue, uh, queue I will just uh, uh, quit from the pager. And uh, PWD is print work dear, so PWD is quite interesting and it will help you to, to just know where you are and sometimes like I would like to go to uh, PWD dot dot, uh, uh, sorry, uh, slash. So I, I would like to go to the parent folder but using uh, a script so I can just use also this kind of reference and things like that. And I, I also like CD minus, uh, minus is to jump to the old PWD. So we have like a, a old PWD variable here so you can keep jumping back and forth and uh, that's also very, very useful. And uh, red line, so like this, this cursor here is, is, is a red line thing, right? So when you, uh, when you are, when you are building the command line uh, that that you are going to 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 send to the bash, sometimes it's a very long line, right? So you are like echo pwd, and then, uh, for example, uh, you get here ps sql minus minus user jonathan's dp minus minus db name playground, and then you need to keep going. And then you start using the rows here, and then you go, and then you are waiting, 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 waiting until you get the beginning. So uh, I love Control E and Control A. So Control E go to the end of the line. Control A go to the beginning of the line. This is the <laughs> this is the favorite terminal that you can use. So Control E, Control A. Uh, you can also use like um, uh, Control B. So Control B will let you to not use the row at least. And uh, uh, also one that's uh, very useful is um, ask B. So my, my little finger is very used to ask because I use Vim. <laughs> so, but yeah, you can keep just do, doing like ask B, ask B, ask L. We'll just uh, like keep jumping one word with the terminal. And uh, Bash also have a, a, a V mode. So if you want to go into VI mode, you can just set your terminal to use this uh, like a keyboard uh, from uh, the, the shortcuts from VI that's like KJ to up and down and L and H to, to go uh, left and right, right? So this is, uh, this is uh, very, very useful. And, uh, and uh, like my favorite, is, is still uh, the control R. So control R, uh, for example, here I joined the terminal once and then I left the terminal and then I need to jump back. So I can type here, for example, history and then I will see my previous command. So for example, if I type here bang three, seven, eight, it will execute the previous history based on the, on the file number. And, uh, but you can also, uh, you can also use a control R. So control R will, will help you. So you can say psql, and then when, as soon you start typing, it will show the, the previous commands in your history that matches with what you are typing, and that will let you to just hit enter, and then you are there. So you don't need to keep like repeating yourself. And this is, a, uh, this is also very useful because when you, when you do this, you you are like saving a lot of your time and also uh, uh, being more fluid in the terminal. Uh, and um, and uh, this is uh, also 
uh, a, a few other global variables that are very useful. So, for example, uh, this, uh, uh, this double exclamation uh, is basically the previous command. So, you can just use, uh, I would like to repeat the psql, that's my previous command. So, it's very useful for that very common case that you miss the sudo. So, you just do sudo, bang, bang, and then you get exactly in the same line that you were typing. And, and, and that's, that's quite useful. And sometimes, uh, for example, uh, you are doing something like echo, uh, more things, uh, and, uh, or, or for example, let's say you, you did like here a cat to just show the slides.md. And then like now you want to, to track your do like git add slides. So you should be typing it again. And then you can use this variable that will basically uh, get the last command of the previous line. And uh, this like exclamation dollar sign is very, very powerful. And it also helps you to, to combine previous command lines and, and things that you, you, you may be using. And, and then you can flow without typing that much. Uh, yeah, old PWD I already showed, path. I guess everybody here already fighted with path at some point. <laughs> so we don't need to cover, but yeah, the, the path is, is basically uh, to, to check where you are going to search for executable. So here you can see like all kinds of programming language libraries and things that I am embedding in my command line. And that's, that's the, the basic thing that we can use. And a home, and user are also cool because like home you, is something that you can configure if you are like a, a Linux fan from old times, maybe you have like a home partition that's not the home place, so you can configure this kind of things and, and then you can, you can use it. And uh, one of my favorite things in this uh, single focus mode is the control Z because control Z is really giving you the power to keep in a single command line. So for example, uh, let's say here I am inside my SQL with this very long command line and I don't want to lose what I have in the session and everything. So let's say I, I did my first select here and then I need to come back to search for something in the file. So uh, instead of opening a new tab or just getting distracted with an entire new setup, I can use control Z and, and that will just move the process to the background. And then you can see here, oh yeah, I am on these slides and I can check what is missing here and a lot of things. And then when you are done, you can do FG to foreground and then you are there again. You are exactly where you were before and you don't, you don't miss anything and you continue in this like monotask mode. So it's, it's very, very useful. And yeah. And finally, let's talk about PSQL. <laughs> so that's like the basic things I, 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 I think that are useful to, to use when, when you are going to, uh, to work with uh, PSQL because maybe this base will miss as, as we jump into more complex examples in PSQL. So I already showed you uh, the man of PSQL. That's something very interesting. And uh, you can probably uh, learn a lot of things here. From time to time, I am revisiting here. It has examples. It has several things that will, uh, will let you um, get more fluid here. So if, if, you miss, um, if you miss something, just try to search on the manual. This is very useful. This is a really uh, true thing. And uh, we have several ways to connect to the PSQL. So you can use, for example, uh, here you, we, we are already in the terminal, but for example, uh, we have this like minus U that's the same as, as the previous. We also have minus H to, to jump into a different host name. You can also use this, uh, another model here that is, is more like a, a, a key value params. And uh, we also have a, a one thing that's named PG service. So you can create this file. So for example, let me just uh, get my, my own here. 
uh, oops. Yeah, so I have here uh, some, some, some other uh, examples. Let me get ahead uh, for, yeah. And uh, yeah, I have some URI there. It's not working anymore, so that's not a problem if I show you. Uh, and uh, oops. And PG service is some place that, uh, uh, oh, it's dot PG service, yeah. It's something that you can just configure several uh, database here and then you don't need to keep typing and then you can just say, for example, like uh, here I can uh, say um, psql uh, service equal playground, for example, and then I get in the, in the same place. So you can organize your authentication methods, very similar to go to the Beaver or PG admin and just go and add a new connection, and then it will be there. So it's useful. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something that if you, if you are used to it, uh, it can be very useful. I prefer to use local.env files, and local.env files are much cooler because, uh, for example, here, in my talk, I have a, a, I have a, a latency network, latency. That's an, an example. Oops. And uh, I this is uh, uh, I have one dot env dot example. So if I do here uh, a source on this file, then I can say psql and then get pguri, and that that will be exactly the same. And, th and that's much better because uh, you can keep hiding and also you can use some .env tooling that will just make it available when you are in that directory and just hide it when you jump off the directory. You also have pg host, pg user, and several other things. And, um, and the thing here that I, I like a lot is, uh, let me jump in the playground again, uh, is uh, this backslash uh, a question mark that will let you get more uh, shortcuts about psql itself so if you want to go and learn more about this psql you can you can just use this and um, and you can also use uh, backslash h to learn about sql so for example Several times I am here, and then I need like to alter an index, for example, or alter table. And then I go here and I just use backslash h alter table, and then you can learn all the synapses of the command and try to apply it. And, uh, and, 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 and also one thing that's very important is try to use tab to autocomplete as you can to not type too much. So for example, uh, if I say here alter table, and then uh, when I say tab tab, it will just show the possible valid options to alter. So I can say here alter table, and then I, I just find like, oh, devices is the table I'm going to change. And then, and then it will show a few other uh, nested commands that are available in that context. Sometimes it's, uh, it's very primitive. It does not work everywhere, but it's very useful as well. And backslash L will, will just uh, list, uh, list the databases and then you can see. Uh, and one thing that's quite cool is, for example, backslash L plus. And, um, and, and, and that's, uh, that will let you to this very weird and broke thing that you cannot see too much. And I was on PGConf India two weeks ago, and the guy just said, hey, use Control a s That will let you to do this. So Control a minus s and then it will chop the lines. And I just learned this very complex <laughs> magic thing that chop the lines and make it a table. So that's very useful pager command as well. So pager is full of details and shortcuts and things like that. So, and uh, yeah, I hope you, you, you remember it. So, Control A minus S, Enter will let you to chop the lines. And yeah, that was quite useful. Uh, also, backslash AH, uh, X will, will keep uh, like the display uh, more in this way. So, for example, in this case, the rows will, um, 
the, the columns will become rows, right? And, and that's also useful depending on what you are analyzing, how much data you have, and so on. And uh, so when you are working on any, any ex uh, exploration in the database, backslash uh, D is, is the base of everything. So when you use tab tab here, you see that uh, backslash D is for describe. So you can describe several types of data. So T is for table, V for view, F for functions, and so on. And, uh, and then and this, is, uh, this is very fast, so you don't need to go. So for example, DT uh, is for just tables. And then for example, let me get here one table. I get here the, the pages one that's in the top here. So backslash D plus uh, pages. OK, so I have five minutes. And um, this is the, 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 this is one extra command. We have the same problem with the, si with the size here. And, and then um, uh, the, the D, if you just say D, you see like uh, this uh, short version and D plus will also let you to have more details. So this plus works in all the commands, most of them. And you can learn uh, learn more about like some specific context. Just adding the plus, and um, and that's that's quite useful. Um, one thing that is interesting on the PSQL is also the 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 cursor here. Oops. Um, so you can see here the hash sign. So for example, if I start some command. It will just uh, change the equal here to minus, and uh, until you don't close the command, you are there. Uh, one thing that I like is uh, is using timing. So, for example, uh, an empty select also works, and uh, you can see, for example, uh, this is a local host, and uh, it's like half millisecond to just jump from local host to local host, go to the server, and come back. And, uh, and with timing, you can see it. So for example, if I type here one single uh, semicolon, you can also see. And you can see, for example, the latency of my server here. So for example, uh, here is a remote server and somewhere else. And then here you can see like a very different, so 70 milliseconds to half a millisecond. So you can just, if you are testing something related to performance, maybe these empty comments will also help you. And uh, this hash sign means that you can do admin stuff. So uh, if, you, if you are doing something with the hash sign and, uh, and so on. Um, uh, one thing that's uh, interesting is this GDesk. So for example, table pages uh, limit one, for example, uh, you can see here a one, one, one table and then for example, this is very complex uh, example, but you can you can get this GDesk to 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 see what type of data is being returned from the previous tuple. So that's very very useful. Uh, timing I showed you, and uh, uh, also you can jump into the terminal with this. So you can say ls and just jump back to the terminal and come back. So that's also very very useful. Uh, for example, here my example is uh, just uh, showing like I can, I, I can try uh, to, to, to execute who is. Oh, um, uh, sorry, that's, uh, that's uh, another uh, combination. So I will not have time to show all the, all the other stuff here uh, from, from like uh, combining more SQL commands. Uh, one thing that's quite interesting is the idea of like you pipe one command to the other. So for example, you can pipe a dump to a new database and, and just make the IO flows without using the disk. So that's also quite useful. And uh, PSET is very, very useful. PSET allows you to set environment variables. So for example, uh, you can just configure pager and configure some stuff like that. Uh, here are a full list of pager examples and things that you can do. Um, I, I think I, I almost showed everything here. And um, 
uh, backslash g and the output. Uh, it's also useful. Uh, and um, I would like to just show you this example that's, um, that's from uh, a GDesk, g exec. So for example, if I say here select, select to one, right? So I am, oops. So I'm creating uh, a command line that has another command inside. Uh, and if I say g exec, backslash g exec, it will get the previous content of the previous tuple and execute it as a SQL. And that's very powerful because you can just build and, 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 and you can do some SQL programming. <laughs> so that's, that's quite useful. Uh, here is an example. Uh, like I was, I was helping like a database architect in, in Timescale that he was testing some partitions. So he was like, I need to generate 5 million partitions. And then uh, like uh, just to test the performance and everything. And then like we create this backslash set hyper tables and uh, the variables that we want. So we create select format, generate the SQL, and then we keep executing like hundreds of SQL in sequence to just uh, uh, generate what is necessary. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's it. Uh, if, if you are familiar, like this is the, my, one of my last slides, TLDR is very, very useful in the terminal if you don't use it. TLDR, for example, uh, psql. And, uh, and then, oh, I was updating my TLDR, yeah. But it, this, this will let you to, to see several shortcuts and also uh, Tmux, if you are a fan of Terminal, maybe you like it. I prefer to use iTerm and uh, not mess too much. And, uh, and uh, Fuck is a, a Python library that will let you uh, to avoid typing when you have an error. So if you say, for example, uh, git add, and then it will say like uh, git add, so you can say fuck here, and then it will <laughs> It will just re-execute the command with the, the thing. So, yeah, and uh, that's it from me. So, uh, if you have any questions and uh, if you want to try this, it's very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So we have two minutes. Uh, just a minute for uh, for a question or two. Any questions? Will this be uploaded on a DAX or something? Sorry, can you repeat? Uh, is this going to be uploaded on a DAX or something to s review later or posted on like a video post? Oh. Yeah, will the slides be available or something? Yeah. Thank you. I, I don't get your question. Sorry. Oh yes, yes. Uh, you can find you, you can find my slides on uh, my GitHub here, uh, GitHub.com. Uh, sorry, a slash uh, Jonathan's a slash psql. Uh, I guess it's exactly psql, yes. And uh, you can find here all the slides and everything. So yeah, I hope you, you can see it later. And yeah, if you have any questions, I'm, I will also be around. So we can just hack to something together. I'm very excited about fair programming. So. Anyone that wants to jump into a session, I'm always eager to help. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. So, lunch break. Uh, we will be here back at uh, 1.30. See you okay. soon. Thank you. <laughs>